convert the following equation for a circle to standard form. So we're given general form, and we want standard form, then we want the center, then we want the radius. So I'm going to start with rearranging this. I'm going to get my x values first. So x squared plus 10x. And now my y values, y squared. And then it's negative 8y, so make sure you bring the sign. And then this 25, I'm going to move over to the other side. So equals negative 25. Okay, now we need to complete the square. So when we complete the square, remember, I'm going to write x squared plus 10x. And then I'm going to be adding some number here. Okay, then I have y squared minus 8y. And then I'm going to be adding a number to complete the square equals negative 25. And these two numbers that we're adding on the left, we have to add them on the right. We have to make sure our equation stays balanced. So to complete the square, we're going to get two squares. That's why it's called completing the square so we can get standard form. So to do that, you take the term by x and divide it by two. And so now we're going to have x plus five squared. And remember, x plus five times x plus five is what? x times x, x squared. 5x, 5x plus 25. So we have the x squared plus 10x, but to write it in this form, we have to add on a 25. And that's what goes in here. We're adding 25 on the right and the left of the equation. So in order to get y as this form in a square, we do the same thing. We divide the term by y by 2, and we're keeping the sign. So negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4, and that's going to be squared, and we're going to add those together. See how we're almost to our form, x, x plus 5 squared, and then plus y minus 4 squared equals, we're almost there, all right, so now we can multiply it out like we did down here to get the 25, but there's a shortcut. If you take this number, that, so 10 divided by 2, 5, and then you square it. So 5 squared is 25. So here, if I take negative 8 divided by 2, I get negative 4. And if I square that, I get positive 16. So I'm going to add 16 on both sides. So now let's simplify this. After the equal sign, we have negative 25 plus 25. What's that? 0 plus 16, which is 16. So that's the equation of our circle. We just completed the square to rewrite it in a different way. So x plus 5 squared plus y minus 4 squared equals 16. Okay, what is the center? What is the radius? So if our equation is x plus 5, y minus 4, remember hk is the center, and then this is r squared. So I would rewrite this as x minus negative 5, and that would make h negative 5. So negative 5, and then k is 4. So negative 5, 4, and then r squared is 16. To find r, you would square root both sides. So the radius is 4.